Hey there! Welcome to our channel, where we explore the fascinating world of New Year's superstitions from around the globe. From knocking on wood to prevent bad luck, to throwing coins into a fountain to make wishes, we've got all the fun and quirky traditions covered. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all our videos in the next year, and let's dive in! Here is our number 1. Knocking on wood to prevent bad luck. This superstition is believed to have originated in ancient times, and it is practiced in many parts of the world. People often knock on wood to prevent bad luck or to avoid tempting fate by speaking about good fortune. The belief in the power of wood to ward off bad luck dates back to ancient times, when people believed that spirits lived in trees and could be called upon to provide protection. By knocking on wood, people hope to invoke the power of these spirits and ward off bad luck. I mean, seriously, we're just knocking on wood like it's going to magically protect us from all the bad stuff in the world. And what if you're not near any wood? Are you just screwed? Let's go to number 2. Throwing coins into a fountain to make wishes. This superstition is popular in many parts of the world, including Italy, Spain, and the United States. People often throw coins into fountains to make wishes for good luck, prosperity, and happiness in the new year. The belief in the power of fountains to grant wishes dates back to ancient times, when fountains were seen as sources of life and purity. In some cultures, it was believed that fountains were inhabited by spirits or gods who could grant wishes to those who made offerings. By throwing coins into a fountain, people hoped to make a wish that would be granted by the spirits or gods. I mean, I get it, fountains are pretty and all, but come on. Do you really think a bunch of coins are going to make your wildest dreams come true? I'm pretty sure the only thing that's going to come true is that you'll be broke. Let's have number 3 anyway. Eating black-eyed peas on New Year's Day for good luck. This superstition is popular in the southern United States, and it is often associated with southern and African American culture. Black-eyed peas are often served with collard greens, which are also thought to bring good luck. The tradition of eating black-eyed peas on New Year's Day dates back to the Civil War, when they were one of the few crops that were not destroyed by Union soldiers. Black-eyed peas were seen as a symbol of resilience and perseverance, and they were believed to bring good luck and prosperity in the new year. I mean, have you tasted black-eyed peas? They're gross. And collard greens. Don't even get me started. No thanks. I'll stick with my usual luck-bringing tradition of eating pizza and watching Netflix. Let's find out what number 4 is. Wearing new clothes on New Year's Day for good luck. This superstition is popular in many parts of the world, including China, India, and the United States. Some people believe that wearing new clothes on New Year's Day will bring them luck and good fortune throughout the year. The tradition of wearing new clothes on New Year's Day dates back to ancient times, when new clothes were seen as a symbol of renewal and a fresh start. In some cultures, it was believed that wearing new clothes on New Year's Day would bring good luck and prosperity in the coming year. I mean, who has the money to buy all new clothes every year? I'm lucky if I can afford to buy new socks. The fifth New Year superstitious belief is Kissing at midnight on New Year's Eve for good luck. This superstition is popular in many parts of the world, including the United States, Europe, and Latin America. Some people believe that kissing someone special at midnight on New Year's Eve will bring them love and happiness in the coming year. The tradition of kissing at midnight on New Year's Eve dates back to ancient times, when kissing was seen as a way to exchange good luck and goodwill. In some cultures, it was believed that kissing someone special at midnight on New Year's Eve would bring love and happiness in the coming year. Hey, I'm all for a little lip action. But I'm not kissing just anyone at midnight. I have standards, people. Our number 6 on the list. Making noise on New Year's Eve to drive away evil spirits. This superstition is popular in many parts of the world, including the United States, Europe, and Asia. 
People often make noise by setting off fireworks, banging pots and pans, or blowing on noisemakers to ward off evil spirits and bring in good luck for the new year. The tradition of making noise on New Year's Eve dates back to ancient times, when it was believed that noise could drive away evil spirits and bring in good luck for the new year. In some cultures, it was also believed that noise could attract good spirits or bring good luck to those who made it. I'm pretty sure the only thing that's going to be driven away by all that noise is my hearing. <laughs> Can we just have a nice, quiet New Year's Eve for once? <laughs> we have number 7. Carrying a rabbit's foot for good luck. This superstition is popular in many parts of the world, including the United States, Europe, and Africa. Some people believe that carrying a rabbit's foot will bring them good luck and protection. Although it is important to note that the practice of hunting and killing rabbits for their feet is unethical and should be avoided. The belief in the power of rabbit's feet dates back to ancient times, when rabbits were seen as symbols of fertility and good luck. In some cultures, it was believed that rabbits had special powers and that carrying a rabbit's foot would bring good fortune and prosperity. I mean, I love rabbits as much as the next person, but hunting and killing them for their feet is just wrong. Can we find a less creepy way to bring in good luck? <laughs> Our next stop is number 8. Throwing old items out the window on New Year's Eve for good luck. This superstition is popular in some parts of the world, including Italy, Spain, and the United States. People often throw old items out the window on New Year's Eve as a way of symbolically getting rid of the old and making way for the new. The tradition of throwing old items out the window on New Year's Eve dates back to ancient times, when it was believed that getting rid of old things could bring in good luck and prosperity for the new year. In some cultures, it was also believed that throwing old items out the window could attract good spirits or bring good luck to those who did it. I mean, I love getting rid of old stuff as much as the next person, but I'm pretty sure my neighbors aren't going to appreciate it when I toss my old clothes out the window. <laughs> Maybe I'll just stick to donating them to charity. What is our number 9? <laughs> Burning Christmas trees on New Year's Eve for good luck. This superstition is popular in some parts of the world, including Germany and the United States. People often burn Christmas trees on New Year's Eve as a way of symbolically getting rid of the old and making way for the new. It is important to follow safety guidelines when burning Christmas trees, such as making sure the fire is properly contained and making sure there is enough water on hand to extinguish the fire if necessary. I mean, seriously. We work so hard to get the perfect tree, and then we just burn it. Talk about a waste of money. And don't even get me started on the safety concerns. I mean, what if the fire gets out of control? Or what if the tree doesn't burn all the way and we have to deal with a smoldering mess in the morning? And finally our number 10. Eating 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve for good luck. This superstition is popular in Spain and some Latin American countries, including Argentina, Chile, and Mexico. People often eat one grape for each chime of the midnight bell, making a wish with each grape. Some people believe that the color of the grape can also determine the luck that person will have in the coming year. For example, a green grape might bring prosperity and a red grape might bring love. It is also common for people to toast with champagne or sparkling wine at midnight on New Year's Eve to celebrate the new year and bring in good luck. 12 grapes? How about 12 donuts? Now that's a tradition I can get behind. I mean, I love a good glass of champagne as much as the next person, but do I really have to drink it on New Year's Eve for good luck? Can't I just drink it any other day of the year and still have good luck? I'm pretty sure my liver would appreciate it. Thanks for joining us on our journey through the world of New Year's superstitions. We hope you enjoyed learning about all the fun and quirky traditions from around the globe. Do you have any superstitious beliefs that you practice during the New Year? We'd love to hear about them in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all things. 
As we say goodbye to 2022 and welcome in 2023, we wish you a happy, healthy, and prosperous new year. See you next time.